name is Arius. I am an IM student and I want to use my creativity to change the world. My name is Andre Lanier. I am an IM student and one day I'm be a famous chef. My name is Heaven. My name is Carissa. And we're inspiring my students. I have a passion about kids, so I want to be a pediatric nurse. And I want to go into sports management and show the world that girls can do anything boys can do. My name's Aaron, and I'm an expiring my student, and I'm going to do big things. From 3 to 6 p.m., more than 40% of America's youth are home alone, unsupervised. As a parent, I love the fact that Inspiring Minds is open from 3 to 6 p.m. I'm at work at that time, and so is my husband. So I love the fact that I know they're safe and they're doing positive things. He needs help with homework. They have some great math tutors. They're really, really big on you studying, getting your homework done, getting the best grades you can. When I first had joined Inspiring Minds and I had a math class as a senior and I struggled with it and Mr. Derek and Ms. Patsy were like, well, let's find you a math tutor and they found me one and she would come in and literally every time she came in, I would sit right next to her and we would just work on my stuff. Her focus was to concentrate on her grades, raise her grade point average focus on getting into college. Your grades are the most important because it's your education and they care so much about your education because it's what's going to get you through life. I'm so proud that 100% of our students graduate from high school and continue on their education in different ways. If high school students are exposed to a college campus, they have four times the chance of graduating on time and going to college. It's amazing that Inspiring Minds has visited over 50 colleges worldwide. A lot of our students haven't, haven't been off their block, they haven't been out in their own neighborhoods or out of our small city. So when they leave and they get an opportunity to see that there's a big world, you know, outside of the small box that they live in, um, it just shows them that anything's possible. We've been on the West Coast as far as UCLA and USC. We've been up north to Michigan and Detroit. We've been on the East Coast, New York and Philadelphia. And we've also been down south to Atlanta and Alabama. Inspiring Minds have really taught me that, you know, this is where your life is really going to start. When Michael applied to Johnson C. Smith, I was very excited for him. But when he finally received that acceptance letter, the reality of that actually set in. I always ask my students, how can you go to a college that you've never visited? college is your home for four or five years. Um, so in order to be successful, um, you have to definitely be comfortable and be able to call it home. The fact that Patsy and Derek even came down, I, I was so shocked because it wasn't a group of inspiring mind kids. It was just one child going on a visit. I thought that was really, really amazing that they would actually do that for me. In my 35 years at ABI, one of the most exciting parts of my day was working with people to help them achieve their dream. I had mentioned to Mr. Derrick and Ms. Patsy that I wanted to own my own company, so they came to me with an offer that if I would like to go to AVI and maybe do a little job shadowing. Internships are so important because they need that job experience. They need to find out if the job or the career that they want to follow is actually fit for them. Without Inspiring Minds, there is no possibility of him having that opportunity. Most students lose about two months of grade level equivalency in math over the summer months. During last year's summer enrichment program, we actually saw a 20% increase in our students' math proficiency. That's off the chain. I mean, I've watched kids when we first started this Alex thing, uh, this Alex program, um, that kind of really were kind of reluctant, and now they've just, you know, took after it. My favorite part about working with the summer enrichment kids is the fact that we're able to inspire them to do new things. I like that the summer enrichment program helps me keep active, and I really enjoy that. They taught these kids so much, I mean, about gardening, things they would have never learned in, in regular classroom atmosphere. We have this garden. 
garden's kind of my favorite. We go there on the first day and we learn how to dig up the dirt, where to stop, where to put the plant, how to water it. We had a plant season where all the kids came in, they, picked, they chose their plants, put them in the rows, and then they took care of them every single week. We also did a harvest. At the end, they brought home the fruits of their labor. Malcolm was so proud. He was so proud of what he had grown. In 2012, more than one-third of kids were overweight or obese. Since 2012, we've more than doubled the activities that we provide in our health and wellness program. Our cooking program um, has went to another level. Um, we cook every week with our students, and, we're, and during the summertime, we cook three and four times a week. It's not just about uh, eating healthy, it's about living a healthy lifestyle. Every week we have a different sport, and this week was volleyball. And we um, went to a camp to learn how to play it. We provided a lot of non-traditional sports, such as tennis, volleyball, and soccer. The best thing is when you see a child learn how to swim, because they're so scared. I had one who, he was petrified. And I just remember him crying and telling me, I can't do this, I am not, I can't, I can't. And every week I'm like, believe me, you're gonna be able to do this. And then by the end of the program, he was swimming. And he was swimming like a fish. You couldn't get him out of that water. If you're in our building at two o'clock, the building is silent, the building is quiet. If you walk into our building at 2.45, it is full of life. I feel like I'm going back 20 years ago asking my daughters how was school today. I definitely love Miss Patsy to death. I think that she's one of those people that, you know, has really shaped me. And when I left Inspiring Minds, you know, I didn't know that she would still care so much. You don't just mentor a student for a week. You don't mentor them for a month or, or a year. You know, when you, when you truly become a mentor, you mentor them for life. So we tell our students all the time that no matter what you go through, Inspiring Minds will always be a part of your family. The time and effort that Derek Tolles and Ms. Patsy put into these children, you could never repay them in money or words. The world would be a better place if there were more Mr. Derrickson and Ms. Patsy's and if there were more Inspiring Minds programs out there for people. There are tough days at Inspiring Minds. I get a little bit wrapped up into how things are not fair and the huge mountains that our students have to climb. I believe every kid is the same, whether they're white, black, rich, poor, east side, west side, male, female, short, tall, it doesn't matter. You know, they're all kids. They all need the same thing. If we can just carve out a little bit of our lives and a little bit of our hearts for them, it'll come back to us threefold. So many people have invested in me and helped me, so I feel like it's only right that if you know, I return the favor, if I can help someone and shape their life like someone helped and shaped my life. I feel like I've done something good. My name is Miss Patsy. I'm an Inspiring Minds mentor, and I know the only thing our students need is a chance. My name is Mr. Derek, and I'm the Executive Director of Inspiring Minds, and our students inspire me every day. My name is Jalea, I'm an Inspiring Minds alumna, and I know the difference you can make in these students' lives.